by Quay Selection, Wikipedia article audio. Several manuals and procedures are available to aid jurisdictions in planning roadway treatments and cycling infrastructure. Sistran's design manual provides guidelines on both the type and level of service required for a cycling route. Both motor vehicle traffic volume and speed influence the decision on the need to segregate cyclists from other traffic. In some cases restraint of traffic speeds and volumes through traffic calming measures may be used to create satisfactory conditions to encourage new and novice cyclists to use the roadway. If route is an identified main cycle route it will be given a higher level of service than other cycle routes. Main cycle routes are more likely to have segregation and wider widths to accommodate higher volumes of people cycling. Traffic Volume and Speed Prioritizing based on a preset hierarchy with average car traffic speeds above 40 miles per hour or with traffic volumes above 10,000 motor vehicles per day, Sistrans recommends physical separation. And on roads that exceed both, the recommendation is to provide physical separation with a road verge. In 1996, the British Cyclists Touring Club and the Institute for Highways and Transportation jointly produced the document Cycle-Friendly Infrastructure, Guidelines for Planning and Design. This defined a hierarchy of measures for cycling promotion in which the goal is to convert a more or less cyclist hostile roads infrastructure into one which encourages and facilitates cycling. It is standard practice in the Netherlands to provide physical separation of cyclists from motor traffic except for on the quietest local streets and those designated as bicycle streets. The Netherlands has thousands of kilometers of cycle paths and cycle tracks, more often the former, and most intersections are considered very bike-friendly. Traffic signals are rare on most people's cycle journeys in smaller municipalities and are only slightly more frequent in larger cities. Most traffic light controlled intersections have some sort of curb to create cycle paths on the junctions themselves, often allowing for turns on red. More intersections are built as roundabouts. Most cities give cyclists the right of way over exiting and entering traffic on an annular cycle path, but some municipalities have chosen to give the motorists the right of way. Cycle lanes usually transition into cycle paths at junctions. Bikeway selection in the Netherlands.